So now let's do an FE example for the phase diagram. And here we will focus on the leptin phase diagram. So we know this is applicable for those studying for the mechanical and other disciplines FE exam under material science. So what we have here is the leptin phase diagram. And we know we have the temperature on the Y, always in this case. And we know in this particular phase diagram, we're looking at the composition in percent weight tin. So these values are only for tin, right? Percent weight of tin, SN. So this is 20%, 40, 60, 80, and we have 100% tin. So we know this side of the phase diagram is going to be tin rich, SN rich. This beta phase here is actually very tin rich. So it has a lot of tin. And we know as we go to the left, this side will be the lead rich, right? So this alpha phase will, will be lead rich. So what we are asked here is for an alloy that has 40% tin at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, the phases present are what? Is it a liquid? Is it alpha and beta? Is it beta plus a liquid or alpha plus a liquid? So what phase are we in under these conditions? 40% tin and a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. So all you do is just plot this. So we just go to 40% tin, this one. Let's go to 40% and we know we're looking at 200 degrees Celsius at the temperature. Go this way and we just plot this point. So we're in this region. So it's going to be the alpha plus liquid region. So all we do here is pick D. So we did that one. Now we're told for an alloy that has 40% tin at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. So the percent weight doesn't change. Temperature doesn't change. We're asked the percent weight of alpha and liquid phases are most nearly what? So how much alpha do we have? Percent weight of alpha do we have? And how much of the liquid we have at these conditions? 40% tin, 200 degrees Celsius. So we know here what applies is going to be the lever rule. We have to use the lever rule to solve this question. And in the handbook, that is also discussed under the lever rule section. And they give us a example, a visual example using the figure of it applied, right? In the handbook under lever rule. You should check that out. So it's going to be in the new handbook. So we will do just that, apply the lever rule. So then what we will do is draw the tie line. So we know we're at this 200 degrees Celsius and we know we're looking at this region in this particular case because we know the question tells us alpha liquid phases. These are the phases that exist in this region, right? We determined in the first question, we can only have these two phases, alpha and liquid. So we have to find alpha and liquid. So we know on the left side, we will have a point here and this will correspond to a certain percent weight down here. And we know this will be the tin, right? We intersect this line, sorry, not tin, for alpha. This will be where we intersect the line for alpha. Then we intersect this point as well because we want to look at the liquid. And we draw a line down. And we know this is always going to be the 40%. So this value is 40%. And I'm going to stay consistent with the notation in the handbook. So we know we can call this point here X, right? So in this case, X is going to be 40%. So this is our X. This point we will call X L, right? X L because it's a liquid, right? We intersect that liquid. Then this point will be what? X alpha. And we will have a certain percent weight at X alpha. So X alpha should be about what? So here we have 10 and I got about 15 for that 15%. 15% for X alpha. We know X is 40%. And this one will be XL. And for that one, I got about, let's say this is 40. We have 50 here. 
and when I did that I got about 54 percent this one should be 54 percent so we have XL we have X alpha we have X and we know that we have essentially a tie line here and we tie these this line to this line so I'm gonna denote the two lines the first line is going to be this line in green and the second line will be this line we're tying these two lines so then we will apply the equations used in the handbook so we know we want to find first the percent weight of alpha so we want to find the percent weight of alpha so what we do is essentially take this value and divide it by the total line length we take this value here in pink divided by the total line length to actually get the fraction of alpha right that fraction of alpha will be this value divided by the total length and the equation for that the weight percent so weight percent of alpha will be that value there for this line this pink line is going to be what XL minus X so it's going to be XL minus X so let's just write that we take X L minus X and then we divide by the total line length so the total length of this line will be XL minus X alpha so it's XL minus X alpha the total length and that will give us the weight fraction of alpha so we take on the bottom X L minus the X alpha so here we just plug in these values so for alpha we take XL 54% minus the 40% so we take 54% minus 40% and we take that divided by XL minus X alpha XL is 54% minus the 15% percent here we can get the weight percent of alpha and you should get about 36 percent so we have that that's 36 percent now let's quickly do the percent weight of the liquid so for the liquid we do the exact same procedure but what value goes on top now we're looking at the liquid right that means we want to find what fraction we want to look at this fraction what we have to do is take this line take this total line right divided by the total line length to get the liquid fraction we have to take this divided by the total line length so we take the X minus X alpha divided by this total line length which is going to be XL minus X alpha that doesn't change the bottom will not change so what we do here we take the X so let me go back up you would do the X minus X alpha which is going to be the one in green right so I'll just write that in green X minus X alpha then we take that this bottom will not change it's just the total length of that line then we know X is 40 percent minus X alpha is going to be which value so X alpha is 15 percent right so we plug in 15 percent and we take that divided by XL 54 percent minus 15 percent X alpha and for that we get about 64 percent so we could have easily solved this by taking this value minus 100 that should give us 64 just to double check but we know we can solve this mathematically using these equations that use that lever rule right so this will be the percent weight of alpha and this will be the percent weight of the liquid so the correct answer in this case should be C and we know one last thing that we will have certain points on this phase diagram that are going to be important and the most important one in this phase diagram will be looking at the eutectic reaction 
and we know the eutectic reactions always when we go from a liquid strictly down into a solid so we transition from a liquid phase to a solid phase we do not go through any of these phases this one and this one so in this case we would start as a liquid go down we're essentially reducing in temperature then we go strictly to a solid phase so here we have the alpha and beta solid phase that makes this point this point is going to be the eutectic eutectic point which will have a corresponding eutectic reaction from a liquid to a two solid phase so in this case from a liquid to a two solid phase and that's also described in the ha handbook eutectoid reaction is a solid to a two solid phase you will see that in other phase diagrams as well peri eutectic is defined as well liquid and a solid and we go to a solid then we do peri tectoid is going to be two solid phase to a solid all of that is in the handbook so that's going to be the eutectic point and we know here we will have a corresponding eutectic temperature right sorry composition so we will have a corresponding eutectic composition and it should be about so this is 65 this is 70 so let's say it's about 66 percent so that's going to be the eutectic composition. So based on one question here I might ask, based on 40% tin at this temperature, what we know we are below that eutectic point, right? And we know that makes it hypo eutectic. So this whole region, anything to the left of this eutectic point will be hypo eutectic. Anything to the right of the eutectic point or the eutectic reaction where that occurs anything in this region to the right will be hyper eutectic this region hypo this region hyper eutectic so that's the eutectic point and it's going to be when we have a solid that transitions into a liquid and it occurs at the lowest temperature this is the lowest temperature where we can have an alloy that goes from a two solid region and melts into a liquid at that low temperature the lowest temperature where that can occur and that's just the extra note but this is an example that applies the lever rule and I believe that's it thank you